What's up? Hey, what's up? In some caves underneath Mexico, they found some pretty awesome crystal formations. They're all like crystally and formation-y and shit. And they're like tall and, and spread out and I don't really feel like explaining a lot, so just look at these pictures. Fucking awesome, right? I mean, beautiful. So beautiful. I guess there used to be a lot of water in these underground caves, and they formed these crystals over time and made them really cool and odd-shaped. It just looks like an explosion frozen in time. If they told me that's how they were made, I'd probably believe it. Because... I don't know how the fuck they're made. If it's on the internet, it's true, right? Right? It's just like TV, you know? They they wouldn't lie to us. Some of these formations are just fucking gigantic. Apparently you could drive a car through there. Not literally, just it's big enough to drive a car through there. If you drove a car through there, you'd probably piss a lot of people off. I mean, I'd be all down for it, but I'm sure you'd hear a lot of like, Oh, what the fuck are you doing smashing all the crystals? We just found them. They're so cool. Oh, that kind of stuff. And apparently it's really hot where the crystals are, so you can only go in 10 minutes at a time because it's right near a hot spring, which is heating up the whole place. I bet you if they didn't know about the hot spring and people just started dropping dead after 10 minutes of going in there, they'd be all like, oh my god, the crystals are cursed. You can't go in there, because within 10 minutes you'll die. And don't get excited, all you crazy crackheads out there. It's not a cave full of crack. That's not the kind of crystal that's in there. Crack doesn't grow in caves underneath Mexico. That's just a really bad stereotype. It's probably too late already. All those crackheads are already on their way down to the cave. All like, hot damn, I hit the jackpot! And then they're gonna get in there, and they're gonna die after 10 minutes because of the hot spring. We should use this as a crackhead trap. I mean, if you want to kill a bunch of crackheads, just tell them that those crystals are crack. And then when they go in, within 10 minutes, they're dead. And we won't get in trouble for any of the deaths because we'll tell them that they're crazy crackheads and they ran in there trying to smoke the crystals. We tried to get them out, but they handcuffed themselves to the crystal and tied some ropes around themselves and put duct tape on their mouths. And we'll get rid of a shitload of crackheads. I don't know why my solution for things is always just killing them all off, but it just seems like the easiest thing to do. The group of miners that found these crystal formations are trying to get it preserved. But you know what? I say fuck it. Let's carve some slides out of those fucking crystals and make a water park out of that bitch. I mean, the whole 10 minute death thing, that might be an issue, but let's just get some AC up in that mother. It'll be the best water park in the world until someone dies. But fuck it, that's not my problem. So I was thinking this crystal formation could be considered one of the wonders of the world. I'm wondering who decided there could only be seven wonders of the world. There's a lot of other things that could be considered wonders of the world. So I want to know, what do you think should be considered the eighth wonder of the world? Leave a comment or a video response and let me know.